Svo þessi vel? Já. Það er ekki svo ríka maður við. Ah. Það er ekki mommy is sleeping. Well, we know what she likes. So I'm gonna get myself ready. And uh... Here you go, buddy. Shit! Look like a mess! Well, no, I know how to fix that. What's going on YouTube? How are you guys doing? Today I'm going to film a Q&A for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy the video. It's November 26th, 2020 and today I'm actually 32 years old so that's pretty cool. Um, it's 8.13 a.m. here in Iceland, my wife is sleeping, my son is sleeping, so I thought to myself, I'm gonna start the day with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. Is powerlifting on the table after the fight? Um, yes and no. Yes, I would like to see how much I would be, be able to total with a good preparation and I haven't had a good preparation for a powerlifting meet uh, in a long, long time. Um, in the beginning of my career, like 20, 2008, 2007, I competed a little bit in, 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 in powerlifting, but then in 2009, Stroman took over and I competed only in strongman until 2018 the year that i won everything uh basically every single competition that i attended that year i won and i attended all the big shows so the arnold classic in ohio where the 10 best athletes in the world come together and compete i won that show the world Strongest man competition the 30 best athletes in the world go there. I won that show. show. Uh, Europe's strongest man. All the best guys from Europe come together. I won that, won that show. World's ultimate strongman, a great show uh, with tons of great athletes. All the best athletes as well went there because those guys stepped up the plate and actually, you know, provided the athletes with, you know, great hotels amazing everything was just top and the price money price money was was, was the biggest price money in in in, in 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 any strongman shows ever so all the, all the best goes best guys went and i won that show as well so i won all the major big show that year plus i did a policy meet and with only four six weeks four six weeks not long. I had. I decided to compete in powerlifting, powerlifting meet with a very little notice, um, and I was able to total 1,100 kilograms, which is good. Uh, I believe that, that I could have totaled more with a better preparation, with like three months preparation, with like a solid prep. I could have totaled definitely more. Um, but I didn't, so I never really know how much I could have totaled with a proper, proper uh, training for piloting meet in my strongest years. Um, so you're like, yeah, would I compete in a piloting meet after the fight again? I'm gonna leave it like this, maybe. 
what are the disadvantages being your size most people don't think about all right um for me uh it's just fitting places you know for example traveling uh sitting in airplanes everything is just so tight you have to basically travel uh business class otherwise there's just no way you fit into an economy seat so everything is more more expensive you know bats i have to custom make make, make bats because normal bats for those that don't know are only two meters long um and i'm 205 so i have to custom make my bat and have it 220 uh, my, my, my bats are, are 220 centimeters and when you travel when you travel uh hotels only have bats that are usually two meters long so every single time i'm traveling my fucking toes are standing out of the bat plus the seats on the bat they're only two meters as well so my toes are usually always cold so that's not nice so those are the you know things that i dislike about being so fucking huge and also door frames door frames are only usually two meters so when i'm when i'm walking out through a door the first thing i have to do is dig underneath otherwise i'm gonna bam hit my head um so just like these things and then fitting into a car you know i have to drive a truck otherwise um it's gonna it's just it's gonna be so tight um yeah so it's like none of these things just fitting into places can be extremely challenging at, at some times so yeah uh, those are the things that i dislike the most uh but other than that it's um it's okay i like being big okay next question what is something that has surprised you about your boxing training is there anything that you brought over from training for stroma that has surprised your boxing coats nothing really has surprised me i mean i knew it would be a lot of fucking work a lot of fucking work and i knew i knew it would be challenging because i'm basically going from my sport to a completely new sport and it's been challenging um so nothing has really surprised me in any way uh it's 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 a hard sport like 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 strongman um like any other sports really if you want to be great at something it's going to be challenging and you're going to have to put in the work that's how it works um then the other question he had uh, is there anything that you brought over from training f- from stroman that has surprised your boxing coats uh, so basically the one thing that i've heard from my boxing coats from guys like Bas Rutten, from other um, boxing experts, you know. The only thing that they have seen that I believe that I took from my other sports and um, I think most likely from my basketball career, for those that don't know, I, I played basketball in my younger age, my younger years is my foot work i'm able to move okay like uh, and my foot work is decent at least that's what i'm hearing from the people that i've been uh, training with and guys like bas Rutten and and my coats okay a question that a lot of people feel like are asking me a lot is what weight are you going to get down to for the fight I don't have anything planned, you know. Um, I'm weighing roughly 160 kilograms right now, so I'm actually quite light, and I doubt that I will get lighter. I feel good right now in this weight, so I'll probably stay around that weight. But I'm not too worried about the weight. I just want to get in a good shape. So I'm just, I'm, I'm basically eating less, I'm doing more endurance work, I'm doing obviously a lot of boxing, a lot of sparring, and we'll just see, you know, I, I'm not too, I'm not 
worried about the weight and I don't have any, any plans. But to be completely, on, completely honest with you guys, I'll probably stay around this weight. I'll probably stay around this weight. So you have it there, I'll probably stay around 160. That's probably a weight that I'll stay comfortable at. I believe that I can increase my endurance ton more and uh, I believe that this weight is gonna be nice for me for the fight. Is it mentally tough on you losing the strength you once had at peak weight? No, it has not for me. Maybe it's, maybe it's because I left the sport um, happy, you know. I was ready to leave. I was ready to say goodbye. There was nothing else that I needed, needed to prove to anyone. There was no, nothing else that I needed to do in the strength world. So no, honestly, like I can go into the gym and I can lift half the weights I did and it does not bother me. I don't feel the need to prove to anyone that I need to lift heavy weights. I can go in and, and, and lift uh, 200 kilograms deadlift and just be happy with it because you know I have different goals now I'm training for different reasons so it it it, it does not affect me at all actually which is a good thing I'm very happy where I am at you know I'm very happy with that um, because I remember when I was younger uh, when I would you know have off season and I would maybe train less or um, eat a little bit less, I would feel my strength go down. It would fuck off, fuck up my heart a little bit, but now it does not, so that's great news. Why did you decide to retire from Strongman? I feel like I've already answered that, but I'm gonna answer it again, because some people might not have heard the reason. You had so much more potential, was it strictly because of your son coming? Okay, why did I decide to retire from Strongman? Uh, the main reason was just because I was, I was happy. I was happy with everything I did in Strongman. Um, I mean, I won the World Service Man competition. I won Arnold Strongman Classic three years in a row. I won Europe Euro Service Man uh, five times. I won Ice Service Man ten times. 10 times in a row, uh, I, I won World Ultimate Strongman, I won literally everything that is to win in the strength world, at least all the big, big titles. And I was just happy, that's the thing guys, I was happy. And I was happy that I was able to win all this show, but still be healthy. And I wanted to stay healthy. I want to stay healthy for my daughter and for my son. That's the reason why, re why I retired. Uh, I got another opportunity, uh, the boxing against Eddie, and I thought to myself, I'm gonna take that opportunity, say yes to it, and retire from Strongman and, 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 and be, be happy, be healthy, you know. I want to be around for my kids for a long time and staying 205 kilograms is not good, it's not healthy. So, you know, I'm 32 years old, so I'm not getting any younger, so I have to start thinking about my health, health thinking about my future. That's the main reason why I retired from summer, guys. That's the main reason. I want to be healthy. I want to, you know, be longer longer on earth for my family. That's the reason, guys. When is the fight with Eddie Hall and are you ready for it? Um, I'll probably answer that, this many times before as well. The fight is uh, next year, September. Um, and am I ready for it? Like, I would be fine with stepping into the ring with Eddie like tomorrow, but I wanna, I wanna, you know, go in and be in a good shape. Like the reason why we decided to have so long time to prepare for it, because I believe, at least me, I need the time to train for it. And I truly believe that he needs time as well. Uh, we're two big guys and 
you know, we are trans, like, changing our body base basically from being like super, super fucking strong uh, to being more athletic and have better endurance. Like, we'll still be strong, but um, I don't believe that like, that strength is everything in boxing. Uh, there's technique, there's speed, there's footwork, and you have to have a shit ton of endurance to last all those rounds. Um, I'm a huge believer in that um, if you're in good shape, if you have a good endurance, um, you can, if you are the better guy endurance wise, you could win a guy better than you if he his, 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 his endurance is worse than yours. Uh, you'll just outbeat him by, uh, you know, you just outwork him basically. So I'm working a lot on my endurance, like you guys know. Uh, and, you know, I'll be ready in September. September next year, guys. Be there, don't miss it. Hello, do you keep training with Bass? Wish you all the best, thank you. Thank you so much, man, appreciate that. I hope you're doing well yourself, champ. Uh, I will definitely meet up with Bass Rathen again. He's a great guy, lo lo love the dude, he's amazing. Um, I will, at some point, meet, meet him again, absolutely. It's just like right now, like you guys know, with, with COVID, with the situation going on in the world, it's really hard to travel. Um, so we'll, we'll see along the way at some point, absolutely. I would love to meet up with him again. Uh, we are staying in contact, so, you know, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully things get better and hopefully I can work more with uh, Basaritin. Would you say that deadlift is most important exercise for muscle growth and strength? Big fan. Um, for strength, it's very important, absolutely. For muscle growth, uh, most important exercise, like, it's a good exercise for sure. Is it most important? You probably have to ask some bodybuilder guy for that, you know. In my career, I had to think about strength and only strength. And deadlift is a, is a, is a great access for strength. Uh, but you, yeah, you, you, you grow very thick, strong back, thick, massive traps. Um, so, like, if you want to have huge traps and a big fucking thick back, and hamstring as well. I feel like ha like the hamstrings works a lot in the dead deadlift and the calves, everything basically. You work every single muscle during the deadlift. So deadlift is obviously a great access when you think about building a muscles, but an excellent fucking access for strength. If you train it, train it specifically for strength. So if you if, if you if you aim for like five repetitions five sets um then it's great for for strength absolutely favorite video game of all time it has to be counter strike guys for those that don't know when i was younger i loved to play video games and i used to play a lot of counter strike so that gotta be my favorite game of all time anyways I feel like this is good to answer some good question, I think. And yeah, please leave in the comment section below uh, if you have any future questions for me to do a Q&A for you guys. And thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. Uh, and yeah, what's your favorite game of all time? Um, and do you guys play video games now? If you do, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. I'll be leaving my Twitch channel here below. So go check it out. And yeah, thank you so much guys for tuning in. I love the support. I love you guys. Take care and happy holidays. Peace I'm out.
ready for the best. Let's go. Yeah, I said I got this. I'm in.